Here on December 2nd, 1804, Napoleon crowned himself Emperor of the French. Later, he said, I shall fuse all the nations into one. To achieve that end, Napoleon would eventually resort to aggression and oppression. I remember the emotional scene as his army officers swore allegiance to the imperial standards that we would once more carry to battle. Yes, those were the years, 1805, 1806, 1807, when the empire rose to its peak through conquest. Take 1805, for instance. I remember our bivouac in Austria before we met the Austrian and Russian armies. I can still see the long lines of our army moving into the decisive battle of Austerlitz. The fighting was bitter, but it ended with a great victory for France. After our victory at Austerlitz, the Emperor Francis surrendered to Napoleon. Francis surrendered his title of Holy Roman Emperor. After Austerlitz, Napoleon continued to remake the map of Europe. Lands were added to French control as the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved. The Grand French Empire, as Napoleon called it, included much of Europe. The symbol of the French eagle would now be stamped on more lands. Prussia was next to challenge the French. 